This video is recorded in 2023 as a job aid for the GISS workflow. It will cover how to create or edit the perimeter line to match the wildfire daily fire perimeter. I have the equivalent of a markup map telling me where there is contained line versus uncontained line along the fire perimeter. And while I haven't added the point data or labels that you see on the markup map, I can tell that the contained line runs from where the Utica ditch leaves the fire perimeter on the northwest corner of the fire down and around to where the fire perimeter leaves the Stanislaw River. A quick reminder that these fire edge features live in the event line feature layer. The symbology looks the same as the uncontained line in the perimeter line feature layer. So as you receive fire edge features through field maps, you'll need to update the data so that it's reflected in the perimeter line feature layer and delete the fire edge features from the event line feature layer. Since these fire edge features have already been used to create the wildfire daily fire perimeter, they are no longer needed and can be deleted. Additionally, the GPS data used to construct the fire perimeter can be removed. One way to create perimeter line that is coincident with the wildfire daily fire perimeter is to copy and paste special the wildfire daily fire perimeter into the uncontained line feature template. There are many other methods such as replace sketch and trace that could be used instead. Use the split tool to split the uncontained perimeter line at the Utica ditch and where the fire perimeter leaves the river. Select those portions of the perimeter line that were contained according to the markup map and using the attribute pane Select all features, then update the FC line type to contained. Merge the two contained segments into a single feature so that you only have one record for uncontained line and one record for contained line in the perimeter line feature layer. Save edits. Heading over to another example on the Elkhorn fire to update this uncontained line to be coincident with the updated wildfire daily fire perimeter, I'll turn off data that I don't need to simplify the map, and then I'll select the uncontained line, select the Replace Geometry tool, then right-click the updated wildfire daily fire perimeter and select Replace Sketch. Clicking F2 on the keyboard will finish the sketch, and now the perimeter line is coincident with the wildfire daily fire perimeter. Review and update any attributes if needed, and save edits.